大家好，我是 Priscilla， 我是小七。Are you a big fan of pop music? And are you familiar with Chinese pop music songs? In this video, we will briefly introduce the development of Chinese pop music and some famous musicians. In 1930s, Shanghai was quite a modern and international city. Yeah, and I know Shanghai was also called the Paris of the East at that time. Yes, so Western pop music came into Shanghai at that time. So uh, you could hear jazz music came out of the bars and cafes every night. And also till that time, China began to have our own pop music and pop singers. And there was a very famous one, is Zhou Xuan. Yes, I heard of people called her Golden Voice. Yeah, because she has like very really nice voice, and why not we enjoy one of her famous songs, Shanghai Nights. <laughs> developed very well in the 80s, so Cantonese songs were the rich. Mm -hmm. So the singers like Leslie Zhang and the pop band Beyond were so classic. Even nowadays, they're influencing us. And their songs mostly express their self-sentiment and the pursuit to freedom. Yeah, and also at this time, there was a shining superstar Teresa Dunn and the whole Asia was like so into her, like her sweet voice, her style. That was an awesome time. And now let's listen to two of their songs. One song is The Wind Is Blowing from Leslie Jar and The Moon Represents My Heart from Teresa Dunn. <laughs> 心里亦有你，不愿流泪望着你。过去多少快乐记忆，何妨与你一起去追。Also, mainland China was also rocked by music, and in 1986, Chinese rock music was born because of Cui Jian. He performed a song, I Had Nothing, in Beijing. Yes, so the group of musicians, including Cui Jian, expressed their belief, their rebellion, and also anger in their songs. So let's listen to the song. I have nothing. <laughs> In the 90s, Hong Kong pop music became more mature, and all people's eyes are focused on four heavenly kings who were the biggest four male superstars. They are Jackie Chan, Andy Lau, Leon Lai, and Aaron Go. Hong Kong culture was quite a fashion at that time, so let's enjoy the music Forgiven Love from Andy Lau. <laughs> Quite 
From the beginning of the 21st century, people are more into the creative and distinctive music, and lots of young generation are attracted by Jay Chow because of his like cool style and his talents for music, and lots of us are very easy to be attracted by his music because it always brings us back to the youth. And at the same time, Taiwan has a lot of young idols and they came to mainland and became very popular. Mm -hmm. Their songs mainly about the sweetness and sadness about love. And also some other musicians adopt other kinds of pop music such as hip-hop and R&B. So let's check out one of the most famous songs from J. Cho, Nam Chakas. <laughs> In recent decades, thanks to the development of internet, so ordinary people can easily access the all kinds of music, even participate in the music making. Mm -hmm. So plenty of talent shows to select uh, potential singers appeared on TV and online. Yeah, I know there's like Supergirl, The Voice of China, so many different ones. Yes, some of them successfully develop their own style and also have a lot of fans. Besides, lots of young people, since they leave their hometown, they go to big cities for a living, mm -hmm. they have lots of feelings to express and to share, so they write down their feelings in lyrics, and the melody is like more soft, more gentle. And why not we listen to your song from Mao Bu Yi, Get Rid of the Blues. And I know Mao Bu Yi is the champion of the Thailand show last year. Yeah. Chinese pop music is more virus, more different. We just chose some typical ones uh, to give you a basic impression about it. And if you want to know more, you can Google it. So tell us your favorite Chinese pop songs in the comment below.